Have you ever poured two fluids at the same time, Christian? I suppose when you have one fluid and, and the other fluid and you pour them both at the same time. No, no. I mean with one hand, like this one. Try this. Okay. Go ahead. Pour the water at the sink. That's for just one fluid. There are two. What, what does the word fluid mean? I always thought it was, meant a liquid. No. Fluid means it flows. Oh. Anything that flows is a fluid. So air could be a fluid. Air is a fluid because it moves all around. Okay, so now you're pouring two fluids at the same time, right? Right, you, you're pouring the water, liquid fluid. Fluid's going down. And the air or gas air, fluid yeah, is, is coming up. It goes up. in there. Right. So today you and I are going to do a whole series of experiments with those two kinds of fluids. First one, air, because that's easiest. Come on okay. over here. I have a vacuum cleaner all rigged up. Here's the hose. And in the end of it, I have a cork with a hole in it, see? Make it so it reduces or increases the pressure. And as you can see, I have it in the blower end, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to hold it over the top of this tube, and I want you to describe what happens. Tell me what happens. The, the water well, let is me going the up the tube. Hold, hold a minute. What happened? The water is going up the tube. Okay, now the reason why it went up the tube is based on a principle that a scientist developed. His name was Mr. Bernoulli. And he discovered that there are two kinds of pressure in a fluid, anything that flows. One is dynamic pressure, that's when I blew the air against you. Mm -hmm. And the other is the static pressure, that's the pressure going all inside the, uh, the, the fluid. And he found that the greater the dynamic pressure, the lower the static pressure. So if you can speed up the fluid, you'll lower the pressure on the inside. Okay, now what happened when I blew across the top of this tube? I increased the dynamic pressure going across here, so what happened to the static pressure in the tube? It, de it decreased. Right. Outside air pressure pushed down, down on the top of the water, which made, made it come up. Okay, here we go again. Let me try it this way, watch. Getcha? <laughs> you felt the little, the little fog coming off of there? Get some on your glasses? The reason I wanted to do that is because you've probably seen somebody do it like that, haven't you? That's, you know what? It's an um, atomizer? Atomizer, right. And now you should be able to explain how it works. So the same idea as this glass in the tube. Okay, so this tube would be the same as that white tube mm -hmm, inside. Right. And there's the water. Mm -hmm. And this would be the same as this. Right. So that the pressure the air. The dynamic pressure on top of that tube must be lowered, right? Yeah. And if you look closely at the top of an atomizer, you'll find a little hole, hole. that lets outside air pressure come in here like that. Which so, makes it go up. Right. Later on, we're going to do the same thing with a liquid fluid. Okay. Then you see these two cans over here? Yeah. Okay. We turn them on their side like this. And most people would suspect that if they were about that far apart, and you blew air between them, which They're, way would the cans go? They'd separate. Okay, try it. Here comes the... Hey, they came together! Okay, now why? Uh, oh, because the, the um, dynamic pressure... Yeah decrease the static, static pressure, pressure in here which made them come which the outside air pressure pushed them together right that's the idea well now that you understand the, the dynamic and static pressure let's uh, use the same principle to do some things that are sort of more exciting come on over here kind of like magic as a matter of fact you hold the end of the vacuum cleaner like that and hold the balloon in the other hand okay I'll turn it on and what's holding the balloon up. The dynamic pressure. Pushing against it like that. Okay, but now I'm going to take a scissors and cut the string and you watch what happens. It, it's still staying in maybe in the same spot. Oh yeah, why? Because You're right, dynamic pressure is holding it up. So, so the dynamic pressure is going around it to keep it in the same spot. Well, as the dynamic pressure goes around the end of the balloon here, it lowers the pressure right there because Oh, the yeah. static member inside the stream, so the outside air pressure is keeping it here uh, centered so it doesn't fall off on one side or the other. Okay, you hold on to the vacuum cleaner. I'm going to grab the balloon. You can also do it. Let's try this. Uh, 
here, take hold of the ping pong ball and just put it on the top of the stream and sort of let go when you feel it sort of, there you go. Magic. Hey, that looks like magic. Doesn't it? And if you're real careful. That looks really neat. Yeah. So this is a popular demonstration in science clubs and so forth. And in vacuum cleaner stores too, they sometimes have this. Part. Then, try this one. Here, take that one and put it up there and let go. Hey. Okay, now you can begin to move it sideways just a little bit. Why is the ball spinning? I suppose because the, dyna the dynamic pressure is more on this side, right. so it's kind of making it spin right. a little bit. And yet there's enough static pressure to keep it on, to, I mean, uh, keep it going there. Okay, so now we've had fun doing it with uh, a fluid called air. air yeah. Let's do the same sort of thing with a fluid called water. We've got to go out in the backyard. Come on. This time our fluids are going to be liquids. Hey, that looks like the atomizer we had yeah. in the kitchen. Okay, how does it work? Well, I suppose when you push this, the dynamic fluid, which is mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. will come through here, and then the static, the static uh, pressure in here will be lowered so that this fluid in here will be able to go through the tube right. and out. And you use this to spray for insects or fertilizers. Yeah. Okay, try it. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, Kristen, I'd like you to turn off the water, change hoses, and then turn it back on again, okay? And then okay. come back. See sure. it over there? Okay, what does this correspond to, Kristen? That could be the same as the vacuum cleaner with the air fluid. Where the, yeah, and now, but only now fluid. it's a liquid fl fluid. So you know what to do with the ball. Okay. Get it up there and top if you can. Great. There we go. Yeah. Be fun on a hot summer day, right? You yeah, have it's kids really playing fun. Around. Okay, I'm going to grab the ball and watch what happens when you put a balloon on. Look at it, it's spinning yeah. around. Right. So you can wow. have a lot of fun with fluids, right? Yeah.